fourth grade today, we learned about the artist George Rodrigue and his blue dog. We have also been talking about the element of art value. So we're gonna combine those two things, value and the idea of drawing a blue dog to make a piece of artwork. So you're going to have to get a piece of white paper at the drive-thru. You're also going to need a tray with black, white, and each of the colors from the rainbow for your table partners to share, as well as a cup of water, brushes, and two mixing trays per table. So neighbors would share a mixing tray. Now, before I start painting, I need to sketch out what my dog is gonna look like. I have this drawing guide to help you draw out your dog. It shows step-by-step step what lines and shapes to make to create a dog. However, it shows you how to make a Labrador. If you would prefer to make a different breed of dog, you would follow these same steps, but add some different lines or shapes to create a different kind of breed. So you're gonna have to flip back and forth. If you wanted to draw a poodle or a boxer, you're gonna still start with the head, draw the ears, but the lines are gonna go different directions. For this video, I'm gonna follow the directions on drawing a lab, but you could choose any kind of breed that you would like. So I see that the first direction is to draw a curved line towards the top of my paper. So with my pencil, I'm gonna draw a curved line towards the top of my paper. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm drawing heavy and dark, but you should draw nice and light in case you make a mistake, then you can erase. Next, I'm gonna draw that left ear. So I see it makes a check mark, horizontal line, and a scoop. Check mark, horizontal line, and a scoop. Same thing's gonna happen on the other side. Dogs, similar to humans, are symmetrical. What happens on one side is gonna happen on the other. Step three is adding the side of the face. Then I'm going to create the muzzle. Flip it over. I'm moving on to some of those details like nose, eyes, tongue to make a dog. My dog is finished. I fell along with the drawing directions to create my dog. Now I'm ready to start painting and I'm going to be thinking about mixing tints and shades. We know a tint is a color mixed with white and a shade is a color mixed with black. So with my paint I'm going to scoop a little bit of blue. This is the color that I'm choosing. You might choose to do a different color. Notice how I'm twisting off that blue onto my palette and I'm going to get some white. I also have a paper towel here. As I'm mixing colors and washing my brush out all the time, sometimes my brush will get really wet. It's nice to have a paper towel or a washcloth to kind of dry off your brush. Notice how I'm just making little X's on my paper towel. I wouldn't want to grab it and pull. That would pull the bristles of my brush out and then my brush isn't gonna be so nice. So just draw kind of like little X's on your paper towel to dry it off. All right, I'm gonna twist off some white so I can make tints and I need some black. Do you see how 
how my palette is set up with little bits of color. This way that I can mix just small areas to create the tint or shade that I would like. Now I'm gonna kind of start with a medium to light blue. So I'm gonna push, put a little bit of blue in the middle here and add just a titch of white. Just a little bit to make a lighter medium blue. And my dog is mostly gonna be that color. So I've used that medium blue to paint in the head and the body and I kind of painted over some of those pencil lines knowing that if I want to go darker with my blue, I can cover up a lighter color. If I want to go lighter with my blue, that can be really challenging. You're going to have to use quite a bit of white. So I've got this medium blue, but I need to add some variety. So I'm going to mix some darker or lighter colors to fill in some different areas like legs and paws, maybe on the ears or the face. All right, my blue dog is finished. And you can see that I have tints, blue with white. I have shades, blue with black. And I kind of, kind of thought about what things would be behind, like this leg, back leg would be behind the body. So things that are behind would be a little bit darker. Same thing with those ears. Things that are in front, like his face, or maybe the muzzle would be lighter, would be like a tint. I also kind of use my brush a little bit different, not quite so smooth painting back and forth, back and forth. On some areas, I kind of thought about my dog is furry, so I could have my brush kind of go in different patterns, maybe a little bit looser to kind of create the illusion that there's some texture. Last step that I chose to do is to take my brush and really on the tippiest of toe, do a little black outlining. That part would come last. You don't wanna put black on your paper until the very end. And a lot of times artists will even use a little bit of blue, a little bit of that color into their darkest shade so that the black doesn't seem so harsh. It seems like it belongs with the blue. When I've painted my blue dog, I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I could kind of think about the background. You can choose any color that you would like for the background. You could add a pattern. I can't wait to see how your blue dogs turn out.